Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. <laughs> Bienvenidos. This week, this is a early intermediate uh, video cast, and the suggestion comes from Mimo. Mimo. Mimo FG. That's nice the name. name That's the name. Yeah. And it, Mimo. Eh? Mimo. Yeah. Mimo in Spanish. Un mimo. Hmm. You know what it is? Well, it's two, it's two things. Un mimo is one of those that goes. Ah, uh, mime. Yeah. Un mimo. Y un mimo es como like, yeah. una caricia, un mimo. Digamos. Mi madre me mima. Sí. Y yo un mimo a mi madre. Mi mamá me mima. <laughs> un mimo. ¿A mí se un mimo? Um, give me some, give me some mimos. I don't know. How, I've never used it in English. <laughs> It's just something you don't say in English. We're so like, cold, you see, in England. Send the love and care, but yeah. not like, uh, give me some. Give me some love. Give me some yeah, love. Okay. Give me mimos. some love. Mimos yeah. like, mm. Give me yeah. some. Give me some. Give me some. <laughs> petting, patting, petting. <laughs> Pet like a <laughs> Spanish okay. mimos are much better than English petting. Okay, Spanish mimos. If you really want to know how to live, if you really want to know what life is all about, get a Spanish partner. And I'm not talking what? about men. Right, because I, I I haven't got experience in that department. That's good. That's yeah, good, good news. I'm talking about a Spanish woman. If you like mimos, mimos, yeah, mimos. Yeah, they're very good at that. I like mimos. So let, coming back to mimos' question, <laughs> he she I don't know whether it's male or female. Mimo uh, wants to know about soñar. The verb soñar. soñar. I, I answered him or oh, her. Sorry, I answered. Okay. In, on live. Yeah. <laughs> on so, soñar con is used with any other preposition. Exactly. Is that the yeah. question? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. remember. So we'll just do this in in a lesson. I, I we'll answered him it. and also Belen uh, answered him as well. Or okay. her. I, I think it's him because Mimo sounds male to me. Well, Mimo. because of the O. Yeah. Because of the O. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Entonces. Oh yes, this is the introduction. I need the answer. This introduction. Entonces nos vemos en la segunda parte. Okay, so Cynthia, the verb soñar yeah. is to what? To dream. To dream. Yeah. And it's actually, the verb soñar in English has been a challenge for Cynthia for the last uh, 19 years or whatever, 18 years, yeah? Yeah. No, no, no soñar. <laughs> the preposition in English, because it... Uh, oh, God. In, Eng in Spanish, we dream with something or someone, yeah? dream with but in english you, you said to me you can't say that because that would mean that you had to be with the person dreaming together <laughs> it was i remember so, when cynthia she, when she came to visit me the first week she said i dreamt with you last night <laughs> really I, i'm not aware of that i didn't feel it <laughs> A very subtle dreaming with, <laughs> but so the the question that yeah. Mimo's got is: Is it always with con, Sonia? Um, that's the preposition it takes. But you can make other sentences that don't require the preposition, like in English. I dreamt that I was on a beach somewhere. Yeah, so that wouldn't say that wouldn't require the con, like in English. So how would that be then in, in Spanish? Soñé que estaba en una playa. In algún lugar, yeah. Mm -hmm. Soñé que mm -hmm. something happened, but to dream um, of, oh, about, or about something or someone is to dream with. Soñar con. Okay, just let's pause for a moment because that's interesting. To <laughs> dream about, to dream about something is like fantasy for us. I was dreaming about going on holiday. Yeah. Right. Yes. That's not having a dream when you sleep. That is fantasizing. Yeah. So you can say that as well. Would you like, also say like soñaba? sueño con irme de vacaciones? Right. Okay. So like I mean, dream about going, yeah, like daydreaming, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. Sueño con irme de vacaciones a a, a la playa. Mm -hmm. I don't even like the beach that much, but a la playa. That's yeah. It. Yeah. Sueño con el día en el que I dream about the day in which, in which blah, 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 blah. Yes, blah, blah. so it's not yeah. literally a dream. Uh -huh. It could be like a a purpose 
thing that you want. Yeah. To, like something okay. you want to have. All right. So that so it fits for either I I'm dreaming of fantasizing okay. or I'm dream I'm dreaming about. Yeah. Actually in the sleep. Yeah. And also we have soñar despierto, which is to to dream awake, which is to daydream. Daydream. Yeah. To dream awake, we say soñar despierto. Yeah. And then we also have uh, un sueño lúcido. Y un sueño húmedo. <laughs> True or not? Absolutely, yeah. We, so since we're talking about soñar... I'll I'm explain gonna... lucido. <laughs> no, That's you, a lucid you dream. You should explain the other one because you're more used to that one. Uh, lucido. Un <laughs> 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 sueño lucido is, is lucid dreaming. Lucid yeah? dreaming, yeah. O un sueño uh, vivido, no? Like, uh -huh. a, like a realistic dream. Mm -hmm. um, y luego un sueño húmedo. Húmedo es wet, so that you can guess where Gordon was heading with that. I didn't mention it. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me. Un sueño... What else do we have with sueño? Um, un sueño... I think that's it, yeah? Mm -hmm, I think so, yeah. So, oh, and then we can say, tengo mucho sueño. Mm -hmm. Tengo sueño... I'm tired, okay? Tengo sueño. O estoy cansado. It doesn't have to do with dreaming. It is is tiredness. Tengo sueño. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Yeah. 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 Tengo sueño. Mm -hmm. like when you're sleepy. Yeah. Not when you're tired of doing something. When you're sleepy, like tengo sueño. Yeah. And what about where you are sleepwalking? What's that called? Eso es es un sonámbulo. Sonámbulo. Un sonámbulo. Yeah. Mm. Sonambulismo. Sonambulismo is, is, uh, is uh, the, the act. Yeah, yeah. And sonambulo is the person. How do you mm. say that? Sleepwalker. Sleepwalker. Yeah, ours is more like Latin. More, it's like cooler. Yours is more like sleepwalker. Like Probably comes from the Germanic back. Yeah. Yeah, sleepwalker. <laughs> sleepwalker. Walker. And obviously, with it with could have done from Newcastle, it would be a sleepwalker. <laughs> but you were sleepwalker. Yes. ¿Y qué más con soñar? Soñar... Mm, I can't think of anything else at the moment. But you, for example, eh, eh, lograr un sueño. Sí, lograr un sueño. Again, uh, something that you wanted to achieve. So to achieve a dream. Achieve a yeah, dream. But that's a, the dream of I'm dreaming uh -huh. of doing this. Sí, yeah. sí. sí. Mm, mm. Muy bien. Vale. Um, not to be confused with the verb sonar. No, sonar is to sound mm -hmm. or to be familiar and soñar with a ñe is to dream. Sonar, soñar, ñe, mm -hmm. ñe. Yeah? Yeah. But they both conjugate in the in the same way. The, the O becomes a um, uh, U-E. Sí, sueño, sueñas, sueña, soñamos, soñáis, sueñan. Sueno, suenas, suena. Sonamos, sonáis, suenan. Suenan, yeah. yeah. And what's the preposition that goes with sonar? Just a... Uh, suena, suena a. a. Yeah. It's one of that family of the of the smells of, yeah. sounds like, tastes of, which is all yeah. a. In, but you can use sonar with me suenas. Me suenas. Uh -huh. Do you sound to me? And that means you ring a bell. You ring a bell. Tu you're cara me suena. You're no? familiar. You, yeah, you look familiar. Mm -hmm. Me suenas. Or... Something sounds familiar or looks familiar or something. Yeah, you you ring a bell. You ring and a bell. We, you sound me to me. Yeah. Me you suenas. sound to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your we can say your face rings a bell. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. But I mean, it's like the same kind of exactly something with exactly. the sound. Yeah. Yeah. Me suenas. Yeah. Y soñar soñar con soñé contigo soñé con and yeah with that uh, about, with you. I, I dreamed about I dreamed about you is contigo. Contigo, yeah, of yeah. course. Con, con tú no existe. Con tú es contigo. ¿Vale? Sí. Mm -hmm. There you are then. There you conmigo, are. Conmigo, so. conmigo, contigo. Conmigo, sí. Uh -huh. Consigo, pero con, consigo no sería. So if, if a Spanish person does say to you, I dreamt with you last night, just roll with them. Yes, go, that's oh, that's right. nice. And then that's how you learn the way we, the you way should we learn say the prepositions. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a good way of learning. Exactly. It's like, ah, oh, that's how you say in your language. <laughs> Así que muchas gracias, Mimo, por la pregunta. Muchas gracias. Es verdad. Y ahora. 
And now a word from our sponsors. Muchas gracias, <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Qué voz, qué voz. Sí. Eh, Greg... Y Greg es muy alto también. Es que Greg estuvo en el curso de inmersión Ajá. hace unos años. Y, y está, y está sí. en, en mayo con sí. nosotros. Sí, es verdad. Uh, Greg is from Canada. Yeah. Greg is from Canada. I just thought I'd say Canada. Okay. Canada. And you can tell that because of the O-U-T sound. That's the only way I can know that somebody's from Canada is with the way that they do the boit, about, rather than yeah, or something about. else. About. Yeah. Uh, that's the only way I know that somebody's from Canada. <laughs> so if they don't say that word at all, you, you wouldn't know. But you, we know what's interesting. Every time I listen to somebody, it's incredible how many O-U-T words come out. They, they, they're nearly always there. And, and I, I think, mm, Canada... I don't think, I don't think they can even distinguish between themselves, like US and Canada. Only with the O-U-T, as far as I know. Uh, but I mean, there are other things as well, but the O-U-T stands sound. out. That's mm. the one that, that mm. I got. Canada. Got you there. <laughs> Canada. Canada. From Canada, yeah, I feel really smug that I can <laughs> identify it. Cynthia and I... Quite a long time ago now, we produced uh, help sheets for all of the first series of 40 um, video casts that we did. And so we've got this bank of, um, basically what it is, we, we do these short 10 minute videos, but we back them up with lots and lots of help, or these the, las hojas de ayuda, yeah? And so we've got, basically for every lesson that we've done in the first 40, so that's uh, uh, 160 lessons, We've got a help sheet that goes with it. So if you want, when, you, when you're watching the, the video cast, and if you go through, to get to know what we've actually got available, the best page to go to is, is uh, I'll show you it now, go here and you'll see everything that's available, right? Because it's quite difficult on YouTube to find everything in the right order, etc. Yeah. So once you know what's there, then everything that we've got there, we have a help sheet for, for every lesson. And so you can help yourself if, you, if you're beginning, really wherever you are, whether you're, you're early intermediate, beginner, advanced intermediate or advanced, there's a, there's a help sheet that goes with it, okay? So they're available. And all you have to do is go to the store and look for help sheets and you'll find it. Yeah? Muy bien, gorda. Anything to say on help sheets, Cynthia? Mm, no, that it was a lot of work. <laughs> and that Gordon uh, lost about 20 and I had to what redo them honestly he lost about 20 and it was such a lot of work that he lost and he said hey, you're gonna have to do them again so I in fact I did more than you can see let them. me tell you something that happened okay in all of the time that Cynthia and I have been together we've had this ongoing battle of work not work okay work from my end trying to push to do stuff and not work from Cynthia's end trying to stop me from pushing. Okay. And and what happened was um, we did these, we did 160 podcasts. Obviously, we were doing the help sheets as we went and it was a tremendous amount of work. I mean, you can't begin to imagine how much work was involved in it. And then we finished them. And finally, Cynthia said to me, we finished, Gordon. I never, ever... <laughs> want to do that work again. Okay? I said that. No, truly, that was the words. I've got them ingrained, <laughs> tattooed on my skin. Also, so, I think Sebas was little. Sebas was a baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, no. Nah, That's enough, she said. Me. That's enough. Do something. <laughs> write some books, Gordon. <laughs> Never mind uh, dragging me into it. Right. So then what happened was a while ago, we decided to start the video casts again. And Cynthia, I said to Cynthia, I was thinking about starting the video casts because I don't want to do them. <laughs> And I said, I could see, I could see what was coming <laughs> behind that, that suggestion. I could see that approach. And after we wrestled about on the floor for a bit, <laughs> and we only agreed to do them on the premise that I wouldn't make Cynthia do any more help sheets. <laughs> Hence the fact. And the thing is, really, I, can't, all I don't have time. Need, oh, I don't have the time. I know. But, we have, but when we did the help sheets, we didn't have Ser Socio. So I, I worked on the help sheets, but now I work on, on the socios. It's true. So every week I, I write the transcription, I write the translation, I do homework for the socios. So I kind of do the help sheets, more or less, but for the socios. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I thought, well, sure. if they want that, they could join this, so, so, this yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, That was my, my thought. And there are five, uh-huh. five years worth of lessons, two exactly. lessons a week so, for five years. We yeah. have the biggest bank of lessons. Yeah. It's, it's incredible how much is there. Plus I have the book clubs as well. I know. I, I, it wasn't a criticism, honey. It was just no, just no, to let you know that, just, Cynthia. Just, just, to, just to throw it in there. <laughs> yeah. So you've been working hard. It, just the idea of then doing another uh, 160 <laughs> help sheets, I think, would she would disappear in a, in a cloud of smoke and go poof. Every time Gordon says to me, comes to me and says, uh, I've been thinking, oh, I'm like, work. It's never, let's go on holiday, never. Let's have this weekend, some, let's go somewhere this weekend, let's do this with the kids. Never. In 17 years we've been together, every time he, he said to me, I've got an idea, I, my brain goes, work. <laughs> what do I have to do? It's work. <laughs> it's more work. Somebody's it's got to do it. It's never a holiday. Somebody's got to do it. It's never a trip. So there we have it. I don't know quite how we ended up down this road, <laughs> but now you know the back the back story to our help sheets. Entonces, eso es uh, eso es todo, chicos. Y ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. adiós.